Hey guys, this is Simon. Today is just another ordinary weekend day in Taichung City. Just finished our breakfast. So right now we're probably gonna get our car and drive up north. Uh, there is the Hot Air Bloom Festival taking place over there. Uh, which is probably about 30 kilometers away. It's in Shigang. I don't know if you guys heard about that. They probably got a bunch of hot air balloons for us to take and also during the night they have a firework. So let's just go and check that out, shall we? Just get out of the restaurant. Today we actually got some pretty decent weather. The sun isn't that big, so hopefully in the afternoon time the weather isn't that hot, okay? So uh, if you've been following my Taiwan cycling trip video last year, you know I was trying to take a hot air balloon last year when I was in Taichung, but unfortunately at that time the Taichung International Hot Air Balloon Festival was over. So hopefully today I got a chance to take a hot air balloon. So we will see about that, okay? Quickly stop in this 7 Eleven. Always forgot to bring some water with us when we are out. Keep going guys. Okay, right now we are at this local park in Shigang district. So far I can see a lot of cars around and actually a lot of people have arrived. I haven't seen any hot air balloon yet. So I guess uh, we should keep going. We checked the information on their website. It says they have two uh, rounds. The first round, I assume, already happened. Uh, it's in the morning and the next run is gonna take place in the afternoon time. So basically for each round, they will only have uh, 100 open spots for 100 gas to take the hot air balloon. Basically, the hot air balloon gonna just fly all the way up to like 30 meters above the sky and then stop for like five minutes and then uh, come back to the ground. One ride gonna take about five minutes and they will charge for about 500 Taiwan dollars. I think it's about around uh, 20 US dollar. So it's definitely not that cheap. I think uh, sometimes you can get a plane ticket for like 20 or 30 dollars, right? Whether you think it's worth it or not, it's up to you. Um, it, I mean, if I got a chance, I definitely gonna take it. But I don't think we will be able to have the opportunity to take it because I heard that a lot of people, they come very early today just in order to get that 100 limited ticket for the afternoon time. So yeah, we will see if we can get a ticket. Alright guys, unfortunately I don't think we will be able to take the hot air bloom today because obviously there are already more than 100 people over there in that tent waiting for the ticket so they are not taking more people to wait for buying the ticket anymore Anyways, they do have a local uh, market over there we can check out over there and in the night they have a uh, firework show, so I guess right now we're just gonna wander around and um, yeah, basically that's it. I think there are probably more than 100 people waiting for buying the ticket. I checked the board and it says they will start selling the ticket for the afternoon at 3.30, but right now it's only 12 p.m. So if you want to take a, a hot air balloon, you're gonna wait for more than probably three more hours to get the ticket. So I don't think we're gonna do that. And actually, there are more than 100 people, so not everybody can get a ticket. Probably they would take more than 100 people, but I don't think we're gonna just wait for another three hours in the line. Okay, so we find a very nice shade underneath this tree. So we're just gonna stay here chilling. And today we're not gonna 
wait in the line for taking that hot air balloon so maybe next time I spoke with, with someone waiting in front of the line and they said they are here at probably 8 a.m. in the morning for a afternoon ticket so basically waiting for eight hours to take a five minute balloon ride what do you guys think do you guys think it's worth it let me know in the comment section okay You're not allowed to fly a drone today in this area because obviously there will be hot air bloom up in the sky. So it's gonna be pretty dangerous to fly a drone here, right? So actually, if you fly a drone today, you'll get a huge fine. So don't do that. Right now it's 3 p.m. There are way more people on the field. I think they're about to set up those hot air blooms because we will have a show at 4 p.m. Uh, I just heard that the local environmental department sent some portable toilets, so let's go check that out, shall we? So right now it's 3.30 actually they start selling ticket. Uh, you can see people are still coming in waiting in the line hoping to get a ticket but I'm not sure if everybody can get a ticket because the staff is pretty clear that they only gonna sell 100 ticket today. So let's see about that. As you can see the local police department also dispatched a team to the scene. It's almost 4 p.m. Uh, we can see the staff are setting up all those hot air blooms so probably within the next 20 to 30 minutes we will finally be able to see the hot air balloons start flying into the sky. Uh, as you can see probably we have a few thousand people inside this park for a first time event like this. I would say it's pretty successful. Uh, it gained some popularity so if you miss it this time you can come next time because I'm pretty sure the local government they're gonna keep doing it. You can see the hot air bloom swing back and forth probably because it's still a little bit windy so they can't set up right now so probably we're gonna wait for a while. Unfortunately it's too windy so they put it back down. So according to the host uh, he said that the staff is going to try it again because obviously if we can't fly it today it's gonna be a very sad news for all the people standing back over there because they probably wait for so long in order to buy the ticket right and eventually to get the ticket but now probably because of the weather they won't be able to take it and some of the guests they're pretty sad right now so we'll see what will happen so guys just several minutes ago the local governor gives us an update about the bridge he is trying to build as you can see he's super humble a very nice guy down to earth right and this is also one of the best feature i like about taiwan here local officials no matter how high you are you're just like every joe because obviously everyone is equal here in taiwan right so right now they are trying to fly another one definitely the staff they have a huge amount of pressure but eventually it's all depending on the weather Guys, the host just said something very interesting. He said because right now the weather is still a little bit windy, so it's not perfectly safe for ordinary people to take the hot air balloon. So in order to make sure that they don't risk ordinary people's life, so the local governor he is going to take it first. Guys, as you can see, all three hot air balloons is up in the sky. They are good to go. So guys, after several rounds of flying, because the wind come back again, so they have to put down those hot air bloom again. So the host said they're gonna try it one last time in the next 20 minutes. Now it's official, they're not going to do it again because it's still too windy to take the risk. So for the people who got the ticket but haven't taken on the hot air balloon, they're gonna do the refund process. So it's gonna be a bad one for them. 
But anyways, I think the fireworks will start at 6.30. I'm not sure if we're gonna wait that late because my wife, she was trying to get dinner for us, but all those local vendors are packed with people. So she didn't get anything for us. So maybe we're gonna find somewhere else to have our dinner. So let me just quickly go back to her and see what we're gonna do next. So I just spoke with my wife, probably we won't be able to stay for the firework. So yeah, anyways, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I feel really sorry for the people who haven't got a chance to take the hot air balloon because after they come so early, try to get a ticket, right? So that's very unfortunate, but hopefully next year they're gonna do it again. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe and if you want more content from me. Uh, remember, you can always go check out my Patreon. Uh, we've got some extra content in there. So yeah, see you guys next time, all right? Peace. So yeah, as you can see here, like everybody is leaving right now. So.